students in this video we are going to discuss the method of constructing seasonal indices using ratio to trend method so this is actually the data given and the quarterly data is given in the problem for each year you calculate the average this is the first step you are doing and then the, fir the first table you are going to compute the trend values by the method of least squares for which write year in the first column year identify it as t don't take it as y y values are the average values then you generate x is equal to t minus year at the center compute x y and x square and calculate these totals okay now your idea is to fit a trend line y equal to a plus bx to find to estimate a and b the first normal equation that is to be used is this and this is the second normal equation you substitute the values to get the values of a and b so your trend line now is y is equal to 14.5 plus 3.375x with this trend line as the formula estimate the trend value for each year put x is equal to minus 1 here you get 11.125 put x is equal to 0 you get 14.5 put x is equal to 1 you get this now the difference between this and this is 3.375 like right 14.5 minus 11.125 is 3.375 this minus this is also 3.375 so you understand that the yearly increment is 3.375 in that case what is the quarterly increment divide yearly increment by 4 you get quarterly increment which is 0.8438 now with these understanding have these two information in your mind with these understanding you construct the quarterly trend values because you have only quarterly data so you need quarterly trend values to eliminate the trend and to do that write year in the first column first quarter second third fourth see the quarterly increment is 0.8438 that is the difference between these two quarters is 0.8438 right now the for the first year the trend value is 11.125 for the first year you have four values that are to be written so the first value is divided into four parts where will you will write that 11.125 somewhere at the center now with this value what is this value and what is this you have to find for which this value is in the halfway between these two quarters so divide 0.8438 by 2 you get 0.4219 okay so 4219 you get this value which is 11.5469 11.125 minus 0.4219 you get this value which is 10.7031 okay now if you know this value to get this value you should reduce this quarterly increment okay 10.7031 minus 0.8438 you get 9.8593 add 0.8438 you get 12.3907 with this you can add the yearly you need not do this process again and again for the next year add the yearly increment 3.375 you get the next value add 3.375 you get the next value 3.375 keep on adding plus 3.375 plus 3.375 plus 3.375 12.3907 plus 3.375 plus 3.375 okay now the next table is you should compute the trend eliminated values see the original data given in the problem has trend seasonal cyclical and irregular variations 
if you divide this value by this value which is the trend the effect of trend gets eliminated this is the idea so to do this again form this table 7 divided by 9.8595 93 into 100 okay 7 divided by 8 uh, 9.8593 into 100 you get 71 then 10 divided by 13.2343 into 100 you get 75.56 do it with your calculator 12 divided by 16.6093 you get 72.25 20 divided by this value similarly proceed for all values eliminate the trend okay first table value divided by third table value into 100 now Calculate the average for each uh, year. Just add all these values and divide by 3. And see calculate the average for each year. And compute the average of average. That is add all these values and divide by 4. Add all these values and divide by 4. You get 100.63 now to compute seasonal index you should divide this by this the formula is the formula for seasonal index is x bar divided by x bar bar into 100 72.94 divided by 100.63 into 100 it is 72.48 this divided by 100.63 into 100 158.76 this divided by 100.63 into 100, 100.41. This divided by 100.63 into 100, 68.36. That's all. So these are the seasonal indices. See first compute the averages for each year and have those values as y. Apply normal equations, find the trend line. Again go to this last column, compute the trend values using this formula. Now you can find the yearly increment as the value of B and then find the quarterly increment. Compute quarterly trend values. Then trend eliminated values. Divide this by this into 100. Average. Then you go for seasonal indices using this formula. Right? That's all. Thank you.